Hi friends, in this video, I am going to discuss on key things to know before starting mobile app testing. There are various things you should know when you are testing mobile apps. Means when you are planning any mobile testing, you should know various things so that your mobile testing plan would be very strong. So in this video, I am going to focus on all those parameters or things which you can learn and adapt in your mobile app testing. So if you are visiting first time to this YouTube channel Testing Shala, do not forget to subscribe to this channel so that you will be getting uh, all the videos related to software testing as and when we publish. Uh, so let's move on to understand what are the 10 key things you should know before starting a mobile app testing. Before we start the mobile app testing, you should know who will be using this mobile app, who all the end users in that perspective. Whether the end users are coming from United States, or end users are coming from UK, or end users are coming from India, or mobile app users are kids, or um, they are adults, or age old uh, people, right? We should know each and every of these combinations to understand or put in various testing strategy to test the mobile app. Once we know the group of people who are going to access this app and we should also know what is the expectation from this group on this app, right? That would help to strategize our testing in those expectation areas. That is where the third point comes into your picture is we should be able to understand the requirements that being implemented and when we get to know that about the end user perspective then we can adapt all our testing into these uh, areas the fourth point is usability of the app usability of the app is very important if the usability of the app mobile app is not good they immediately go and uninstall and they may not use your application that is where uh, it is very crucial uh, when you're testing uh, the mobility app you should always keep your uh, testing in focus of usability aspects the fifth point is your app should be as much as reliable and robust as possible if your app is crashing every moment, then nobody likes your app, right? That's where uh, you should look into all these areas when you are uh, testing it and your app should be more reliable and robust. The point is uh, you should also test it on uh, performance related aspects uh, in terms of responsiveness. One feel of the app and the traversal of the application, navigation of the application, if it is not proper, then people may not like it and let's say if they wanted to access a particular feature and if they wanted to navigate to the 10 pages then nobody likes uh, your app and the eighth uh, point is network conditions for the end users you should understand uh, as you know first and second uh, in terms of the requirement uh, of end users are their demography right who is the people who are going to access this whether the people who are in the mountain they are going to ask, access it or ill area people are going to access it or people while they are traveling in a train will they access it will, uh, will people who are uh, traveling in a bus or uh, remote area village people may access it you should look into all the uh, conditions where uh, the network of the mobile is also varies in each and every area and uh, your app should be able to work seamlessly in all these uh, aspects right irrespective of whether your network is having a 2g or 3g or 4g which is lte or even the upcoming uh, network conditions the ninth point is the type of devices being used by the end user let's say uh, end users coming from uh, united states the most of the people in united states uh, uses apple phones so they may use Apple mobile phones or Apple tabs. When you come, in, come to India, the India most people uses Android devices because it is a little uh, cheaper compared to Apple phones. So that's where you should look onto the demography of the end users 
who will be using and what kind of devices they will be using it. The last uh, point is the kind of hardware being accessed by the app. Uh, like, uh, let's say, uh, whether app can be accessible, the camera, or it could be sensor, can it access, or uh, can it access a GPS, or many other hardware available, it could be battery. Um, Next time, whenever we are going and uh, trying to do mobile app testing, please remember these 10 items you should keep in your mind when you are uh, doing mobile app testing so that you bring the right quality, or right strategy for your mobile app testing. That would help your client as well as customer and they would be very happy um, with the kind of approach you are going to bring in for the mobile app testing. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, click on uh, like button. And if you are uh, to get similar kind of videos as and when we publish uh, the videos from Test Inshallah, do click on subscribe button, click on bell notification so that all our future videos will be in your inbox completely free of cost. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.